We are coming. students would then have the option of studying online, studying via blended modality, which is a combination of online and face-to-face -face delivery, or studying face-to-face, -face, whichever modality is most convenient for them. We're also interested in having a more intensive understanding of our students' experience at IUC, and so we will be exploring that in a much more in-depth way through questionnaires, through customer service surveys, in order to determine whether or not our students' experience at IUC is of the highest quality. Great. So would you be able to tell us then, uh, what has accounted for the Sustained Association, you know, having worked here for such a long time? I've been with IUC now for 13 years. And the main reason for my association with IUC is because of its work as a mission. IUC is interested in empowering individuals through education and that is something that I believe is very important, particularly in the context of Jamaica. The educational experience at IUC is meant to give persons opportunities that they may not otherwise have had depending on their location, depending on their socioeconomic background, depending on their areas of interest. In addition, the programs that we offer highlight training persons for leadership in their respective spheres of influence. So it's not just a degree for a degree's sake, but a degree for the purpose of change. Okay. Can you share with us one of your, the most defining moments at IUC for you? Mm -hmm. For me, what, probably the most defining moment was the launch of IUC in 2005. We put a lot of work into consultations, planning, writing of documents, pulling together the policies and procedures. And so in 2005, when we had our massive launch at the National Indoor Sports Center, it was just a fabulous and exciting time. And I think starting from there and seeing how the institution has grown, that was a wonderful defining moment for me. Okay, we know that universities, um, it's not their responsibility to place students or to get um, jobs for students, but uh, is there anything in place for placing students in the working world at all? Right now we mainly place our students through internships and practicums and then the students would continue on with those placements depending on how successful they are. And that has largely been because many of our students have been part-timers who have full-time jobs and therefore did not necessarily require that service. However, our demographic is changing, and so we are attempting to be responsive to that, and so we're actually rolling out a very expansive career placement service, which we hope to start um, in the September of 2014. That will involve things like development seminars, CV writing, interviewing skills, um, creating professional portfolios, and also creating very strong connections with industries, and encouraging them to come to IUC for job fairs and also visiting a dedicated career website where we will profile our, our graduates or prospective graduates and they can identify persons who they feel would be a good fit for their organization. Okay ma'am, as we close this interview, can you tell us now um, one thing about yourself that if persons were to hear they would be very surprised? Well, I don't know how surprised people would be, but I am a published, a published poet. Um, I have written poetry that has been published in Caribbean anthologies, and my work will be featured by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation next month. So I'm very excited about that, and I think that might be a little surprising for some persons. It is indeed for me, and I suspect everybody is here. Thank you so much, Dr. Evans, for taking the time out um, to, to be in this interview. Thank you very much. Have the rest of the day.